The Fresno State Rodeo Program is a, a family of elite athletes. I would describe Fresno State Rodeo team as a team full of opportunity and personal growth. We build everything off success, not just in the arena, but outside the arena as well. I've learned to work really hard, to have no excuses. Since I used to give a lot of excuses my freshman year for all my failures, and you here just didn't put up with it, so I'm grateful for that. The team here is more of a family. Day in and day out, we are basically here to support each other, and at the end of the day, that is what made me pick Fresno State. Art's always been around. Um, he helped me get into the school, and I'm really thankful for that. And Coach Uhuru, um has really helped me grow personally in and out of the arena, and I set higher goals for myself now. And um, he's probably one of the hardest workers I know. The focus on our mental mindsets and our mental game is uber important here at Fresno State. I feel like our coach uh, represents all of us well. He gives us equal opportunities to, like I said before, uh, showcase our abilities and our strengths. We're a team and that we're a family and that we support each other in everything that we do. For the last three years, Fresno State is full of winners and I want to become a winner and be a part of it. Well, here we are. We're coming down to the final man this afternoon. The final man to make it for the short round is getting set to go. He's got to beat an 86 and a half points to win this event here today, benefiting the Fresno State Bulldoggers rodeo team. This is going to be an awesome ride if everything works out. Again, he wants to make sure everything is just right, and he has drawn a great bucking horse here this afternoon. This horse is from the Fly New Rodeo Company. They call this horse California Dreamin'. Here's a horse who's been to the Wrangler National Finals many times. Ladies and gentlemen, the Oklahoma Cowboy, the wild man, Wade Sundell. And we got it, ladies and gentlemen. He just did it. He went into the number one spot with 88 points. There's your champion. What started as a vision has now become a reality. Those who have believed in the vision have now returned to make it bigger and better. Howdy everybody and welcome to Vita Ranch All-Star Bronx. So I'm your rodeo announcer, Ted Dwyer from Merced, California. This afternoon, we're going to be putting on an event here today to benefit Fresno State Bulldoggers Rodeo Team. We've got some of the best in the business here. Some of the big names in the sport are going to compete. We've got $25,000 that is up for grabs. We've got four sections of bronc riding. Each of those top bronc riders with the highest score well, they're going to advance to the short round, and that short round winner is going to take home a whopping $10,000 and plus the round money that they win another $2,500. So they got a bunch of money to take home, and not only that beautiful belt buckle is going to be presented by George Veter and his wife Tara immediately following as soon as we find out who is going to be our All-Star Bronx champion. The first cowboy out in our first round, it is going to be Riggin Smith. He is currently right now in the number 38 spot in the world. He's going to come up with a score here this afternoon. It is going to be a 79 points on the ride for Riggin Smith. Ben Anderson has drawn the bucking horse called Dirt Road Princess of the Veter Ranch. Watch this little horse. Got a lot of style right now. Going to put the cowboy in the front end. Take a look at that, looking good, looking good. He needs a big score on this one to try to win the section to bring him back in to the top four in our short round here this afternoon. 84 points on the ride, and that's gonna be the highest score 
in our first section of our saddle bronc riding here this afternoon with Ben Anderson. Let's move to our next cowboy getting ready to go. Here's a cowboy from Wildwood, Alberta, Canada. He comes from the legendary rodeo and family, the Hay family. His daddy's here today watching him too as well. Let's watch him on this one. This is Dawson Hay. He has got the bucking horse from the Veter Ranch. This is Domino Theory. This horse right here, they've been 90 points on him a few times before. And this horse has been to the Wrangler National Finals Rodeo 11 different times. Our judges come up with a score. The score is going to be 81 points for Dawson Hay. Well, you've heard from the Wright family. Here's another one right now making his professional rodeo debut. This is none other than Statler Wright. He won the International Youth Finals back in Shawnee, Oklahoma and qualified for the National High School Rodeo Finals as well as one of the top Cowboys. Take a look at this youngster. He's just one of the right family and one of the newest ones to make his debut in the sport of rodeo. And this kid already looks like a seasoned veteran. And how about an 82 point marking? 82 points, our judges say. Here we go right now, our next cowboy is going to be Jack Bentz. Let's watch him. Crane, Oregon cowboy. And here's a guy that's really making a big name in the sport of rodeo. Then he's about number nine in the Columbia River circuit. He's one of your top and up coming young bronc riders. And he has drawn the bucking horse from the flying new rodeo company called Dark Horse. For Jack Bentz, it is going to be 76 points on the ride for Jack Bentz, the Crane, Oregon cowboy. Well, let's meet your winner right now. Well, here's a replay of our winner from the first round. It is Ben Anderson. Ben Anderson and the horse called Dirt Road Princess from the Veter Ranch. They put in a score together of 84 points with the great horse. They're going to be coming back for the short go round. And he's drawn the Rocket M Rodeo Company bucking horse called Mojave Moon. Hey, we're getting ready to get start our second section off here this afternoon and our first cowboy getting ready to go. It is going to be Wildwood, Alberta, Canada cowboy. This is going to be Logan Hay. Now, Logan finished up number 17 in the world standings, number three in the Canadian Pro Rodeo Association. He's won a bunch of them this year, and let's watch him right now. We'll get ready for this. The high score of today so far, how about an 86 and a half points for Logan Hay? Great ride. All right, here's the second man to go in our second section right now. Let's watch the man from Queensland, Australia. This is Jake Finley. Wow, he's drawn another good horse from the Flying New Rodeo Company called Wicked Dreams. This horse has been notorious. Matter of fact, got a 92% buck off rate. You're just seeing one of the top cowboys in the world. And look how high that horse is getting up on the hind end right there as Jake Finley. He's going to finish it off this afternoon. We're going to look down and find out what our score is going to be. And the score coming up, how about 83 and a half points? Now, when we talk about dreams come true, the Vita Ranch provides that. Uh, I'm Cooper James from Erta, Utah. I'm a 16-year-old bronc rider. Been to all three of the Vita schools here at the Vita Ranch, and they've helped me tremendously. This was the outstanding student that got to come in in advance from the school right into the performance where you're seeing the top in the world right now. Because of Wade Sundell and Tegan Smith got hung up at the Fort Worth Airport, they didn't get to make it here today. We had two open spots. Here's one of our young future talents you're going to be seeing a lot of. He's dreamed about it. Now he's getting ready to live his dream. Here is our cowboy Cooper James, a Utah man, making his debut with the big boys on a Saturday afternoon. Kind of making it a little bit rough getting out of timing with the horse. You see him reach down right there and double grabbing. He's going to hit the ground, but ladies and gentlemen, I think we need to give him a little round of applause. You're going to be seeing him a lot in the future for a young cowboy. Going to come up with a no score for Cooper James. His hometown, Winnemucca, Nevada. This is Mitch Pollock, and Mitch Pollock's has got a good horse here called Cowboy Colada from the Fly New Rodeo Company. All right, let's watch the replay. Watch the replay right here. Now, you're going to see right now what the judges see as well. Mitch Pollock runs into a little bit of trouble. The judges' flags come out, and they say he missed him out. Got to have your 
boot, heels of your boots over the horse's shoulders on the first jump out to qualify. If you don't do that, you're going to get a goose egg, and that's exactly what happened for a great cowboy. Well, you're seeing one of the best. How about give them a little round of applause, if you would, rodeo fans? All right, let's move down to Bakersfield, California. This is Carson Maben. Carson Maben's going to come up with a score of 82 and a half points. 82 for Carson Maben. Well, we're going to settle down a little bit after that exciting second round and watch the replay right now of the man who had the high score in the second round that will advance to our short round here this afternoon. This is Logan Hay. Logan scored at 86 and a half points on the good bucking horse, California Dreamin' from the Flying New Rodeo Company. He will advance to our short go round here this afternoon, and he is going to draw up on another Flying New Rodeo horse called Flood Tide. And man, that is going to be one of our big matchups of the afternoon. Hey, guess what? We're getting ready to start round three right now, and our first cowboy getting ready to go. Remember we talked about dreams that are made right here at the Duda Ranch? Here's another one of our kids that got to qualify into our round today. This is the National High School Rodeo Association's all-around champion cowboy. And the score coming up for the cowboy from Eugene, Oregon. How about 74 points, 74 for Mason Stiller on the bucking horse Wild Child from Rockingham. All right, we're going to get set to go with Reed Neely, Sanger, California, two times qualifier for the college national finals and the national Ram circuit finals. Reed Neely putting a good one on right now. He's got the horse called Diamond Jim for the Rockin' M Rodeo Company. And let's see what we're going to come up with. Let's see. Oh, we're watching the replay right now. This little horse right there having a tough time getting ready to come out of the buck and shoot. Got a little bit of a stall, and I'm sure them judges are over there. Maybe possibly give him a free roll, but wow, look at this right now. Reed Neely is cowboying up and getting to the neck as quick as he can to get that mark out rule. Now, let's see what he can finish it off. Judges say he gets to do it all again. We're gonna see Reed Neely back here real soon. We want to introduce you right now to the 2021 Resist All Rookie of the Year. This is Kays Thompson. Another cowboy from Alberta, Canada. He just missed qualifying for the Wrangler National Finals Rodeo by one spot, finished number 16 in the world, number four in Canada. And hey, well, the judges come up with a score for Kays Thompson. It's going to be 80 points on the ride, 80 points for him and the bucking horse called Ivanka. Let's give him a little round of applause for Kays Thompson, the resist call rookie of the year. This is Jake Clark from Train, Oregon. The man from Oregon making it look good on a California Saturday afternoon. Our pickup men are gonna move in right now and the score coming up for Jake Clark, it's gonna be 83 points on the ride. 83 points for Jake Clark. All right, well, let's watch the man right now from Eagle Butte, South Dakota. This is Shorty Garrett. Shorty's drawn a good horse as well. Hey, they're all good. Let's watch the man. This is Shorty Garrett on Twitter from Ron Hay. His great uncle is Casey Tibbs, and I'll tell you what, this man can ride. He's a former Wrangler National Finals qualifier, and he's won about $280,000, and it shows. What a great ride by Shorty Garrett. Come on. And it looks like it's going to be about an 84 and a half points on the ride. We're going to go back to Miney Insurance Company Buck and Shoot with a re-ride for Reed Neely. You asked for it. He's got it. We're going to look to a score right now for Reed Neely. Going to come up with 81 and a half points for Reed Neely. 81. Good ride. Not quite good enough to get him into our short go around this afternoon. Well, the winner of our third round, you're watching this is Shorty Garrett. He's going to come up with a score of 84 and a half points. Rod Hay brought this bucking horse called Tweeter, and we're going to look down right now and find out what he draws in the short round for Shorty Garrett. It is going to be the horse from the four-star rodeo company called Watch This. Watch This 
we're going to be watching for sure. We're getting ready to start our fourth round, our final round, before we find out who is all going to move on to our short go round here this afternoon. First cowboy getting ready to go. Yeruhu Adim is a man getting ready to go. He's drawn up on the bucking horse from the Four Star Rodeo Company. This is Johnny Ringo. Wow. Johnny Ringo's a little bit on the outlaw, and you just seen a little bit of a separation right there. He's going to come down early. He is going to come up with a no score, no score for Yeruhu Adim. We're going to go back to the Valley Flooring Buck and Shoot for a cowboy getting ready to go. He is one of our Southwest Cowboys. Matter of fact, he's a turquoise circuit qualifier. This is the man that gets set. This is Ross Griffith. He has drawn the Rockin' M Bucking Horse called two bits. Takes a little bit of a run out before he gets going, and boy, he goes to work right now. Coming up against the fence, 72 for Ross Griffith. Now we're gonna go back to Valley Ford. You talk about Pro Rodeo's dynasty, we're getting to see one of them right now. He's been to the Wrangler National Finals five times. He's won the Ram National Circuit Finals. He's a champion of that as well. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this. Rusty Wright, championship style as usual. All right, the score coming up for Rusty Wright. And uh, we do want to tell you 72 points right now is in the lead. Let's see if it's going to be good enough. How about 81 points on the ride? Colt Gordon has got a good one here. We're gonna call this little horse Smoking Jose from the Rockin' M Rodeo Company. Let's see how both of them will match up here this afternoon. Let's watch him right now. Here he is the man, let's watch him. Yeah, look at this, he's going for the money. He wants to make it back to the short go around. Now let's see if it's gonna work for him. Let's see what the judges are gonna say on him and we've got a 80 points on the ride for Colt Gordon, 80 points. All right, we're gonna go down to Valley Flooring, buck and shoot right now to the last man to go in our fourth section. He is the last man to go. Here's Justin Lawrence, he's gonna need some help. Come on, Fresno, make some noise. Come on, look at this. Justin Lawrence is right where he needs to be. Is it gonna be a good enough to make him into the short round? And the score coming up for Justin Lawrence is going to be 73 and a half points on the ride. 73 and a half for Justin Lawrence. Well, the winner of section number four this afternoon, it is going to be none other than a five times qualifier for the Wrangler National Finals. It's going to be Rusty Wright coming in with that score of 81 points, the high score in the fourth round. He will also advance to our short go round coming up now. The horse that he has drawn in the short go-round, it's going to be a good one. Yeti Rambler from the Flying New Rodeo Company. The matches are made. The horses are set. The Cowboys are ready. Let's get ready for the short round. Well, all four rounds are done. It paid $2,500 to win the round to advance them into the short go-round. The short round is going to pay two monies. Second place is going to be $5,000. And the winner's going to walk away with the number one spot and the title and the bragging rights and a beautiful belt buckle with $10,000 going to be in his pocket. We're getting ready to start our short round. Get set, get ready, it's Championship Saturday.
ladies and gentlemen, the score for Jody Garrett this afternoon is going to be 87 and a half points. Coolest romp match. That's so neat. <laughs> so happy for you guys. You guys put on a great event.